Pantarias and voyages to civil and the following his police brutality made the victim martyrs of the language movement. Salute to those language martyrs. However, the language controversy continued for few more years. And at the end, in 1956, the National Assembly adopted both Bangla and Urdu as two national languages of Pakistan. The success of language movement emboldened the national identity of Bangladesh and paved the way for their freedom from West Pakistan. And in 1971, through the Gladi War, Bangladesh got independence from, from Pakistan. That is, East, East Pakistan became Bangladesh in 1971. Bangladesh speaking people have to the world mourn and recall the important political movement of 1952 by observing 21st February as Shohid Divas or Martyrs Day and after events to adoption as the International Mother Language Day. This day highlights the importance of language to all people as a crucial question of identity. Similar to the question of political sovereignty or land rights, language is an integral part of people's democratic rights. We can clearly see that in New Zealand, in the current debate surrounding Tireo Maori, while the political contestation between Maori and English is not as belligerent as it was between Urdu and Bangla in Pakistan 70 years ago, but the political nature of this debate is more or less similar. This makes the observance of International Mother Language Day relevant to the Kiwis in 2021, not only we have full Bangladesh speaking poor souls who gather here to mourn the supreme sacrifice of language in a distant land. English the Bolo, I think Shishkor Bangladesh Bole, Kar Matri Vashai, Nabol Lej, Monir Paprokashkara Jaina, Shishkor Ho, Ramni Gupte, Uti Hashikupti, Jinisha, British Shomai Bolisilen, Nanan Shi Nanan Pasha, Vina Shadishi Pasha, Uriki Asha. Thank you all.